North, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and now on to the morning announcements. Good morning, North. I'm Abram. And I am Gabe. Now for your morning announcements. Would you be interested in taking classes this summer? Are you interested in getting a class or two out of the way? If so, come get your summer school application in the counselor's office. Also, there is a dance coming up. Here is Bella and the FCCLA with more information on the dance. The Glow with the Flow dance is being put together by the FCCLA. It, is, it will be held on April 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the gym. It's $5 to get in with an ID card, $3 to get in with an activity pass, and free to get in with a dance pass. Where do the profits go from the dance? So they're going to a fund which will help bioluminescent sea animals, like, will help them get better so that that way they won't be sick anymore because a lot of them are dying and it's taking away from the ecosystem underneath the ocean. And tell me more about your theme. So our theme is biolum bioluminescent sea animals, which are basically animals that can create a glowing effect on their own. So like sea plankton and jellyfish, they all will glow at night so that, that way they can see in the water. So we picked under the sea glow theme, so it's all the animals that are luminescent and it's well, under the sea. And so you need to bring, it's on April 19th, you need to bring your ID card. If you have a dance pass, a little more $5 and we will have pizza, cookies, sodas, and candies also. Now for Max with sports updates. Hey, what's up, North? It's Max with today's sports. The last quarter of the year is now here, so let's check out what's happening in the last two months of school. Seventh grade girls volleyball is heading into the final part of the season and they'll want to finish it off the season with a bang. So today both varsity teams will have a home game against the West Mustangs while JV team will have, will have to be at West and try to steal a home victory from the Mustangs. Here are the three remaining games next week. Volleyball coming to a close, there's a new sport in town, so here's Quentin with a reminder on track. Hi North, remember, track will begin Monday, April 9th at 2.50 at Boise High Track. Some of the categories that you can do for track are sprints, distance, jumping, and throwing. There's an event for everyone, and for upcoming 7th graders thinking of doing track, remember, the 50 meter sprint is not a thing anymore, and our first meet will be at Timberline on April 25th at 3.30. Also, we're looking for 4-6 to six responsible students who do want to be involved with helping manage our track team this year. If this interests you, please see Mr. Miller du during break this week and he, will and he will give you more information. This can also count for community service hours. Now back to Max. Thanks Quentin for that amazing update. And in other news, congratulations Ms. Shannon on being victorious over all the students and staff that participated in this year's March Madness bracket. Great job. That's it for today's sports. Now back to Thanks, Abe Max. and Gabe. This month, we will be featuring our Viking values and how you can display them and possibly earn a milkshake. Did you know that responsibility is one of your Viking values? Here is me with more information about Viking values. Hey, North, I'm Abram, and I'm giving you a responsibility video today. Now, one of the Viking values is responsibility. We're going to go find some students being irresponsible and correct them. Let's go. I can't go another minute with this lecture. Staying in voice there, like, gotta go. Miss Wright, can I get a, a can I get a drink? Sure, Jack. Go ahead and sign out right there and grab the pass. Okay. And hurry back. Okay. Follow what's going on on Instagram. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, I can't believe you. I guess I can pretty much do whatever I want since I have a pass. 20 minutes later. Now, it's your responsibility. When you ask for a hall pass to get a drink or go out in the hall, don't dilly-dolly around, check your Instagram, see what's new on your phone. 
You know, you get a drink and you go back to class. That's your responsibility to be a Viking. Thanks, you. Here's Mackenzie with her Viking card drawing. Morning Vikings, we are here with your Viking drawing. And so our winners this week are uh, Rosara Albizo. Uh, we have Abby Job, congratulations. Avery Provencio, uh, Tabby Schaefer, our fifth winner this week is Cooper Sutton. We also have Shay Harpole, Sabine Machu, Machu, excuse me, and our last winner is Hayden Hinchman. And our two teachers this week are Miss Lingar and Miss Charlotte. Congratulations, Vikings. It's National Caramel Popcorn Day today, and did you know that caramel corn has been around since in, in some form for over more than 120 years? No, I did not know that, but that is one cool fact. Have a nice weekend, North, and we'll see you next week.